An axle counter is a system used in railway signaling to detect the clear or occupied status of a section of track between two points. The system generally consists of a wheel sensor and an evaluation unit for counting the axles of the train both into and out of the section. They are often used to replace a track circuit. An axle counter consists of the axle counter sensor, which detects the individual axles of a train either via either mechanical, electrical or even fiber optic methods, as well as an evaluator, which does the logic of the system and counts the axles into and out of the section. The evaluator may also convert the analog signal of the axle counter sensor into a digital signal. However, in some cases there is a separate unit which performs this task. The system is set up by having an axle counter sensor installed at each end of a section. As each train axle passes the axle counter sensor at the start of the section, a counter increments. An axle counter sensor comprises two independent sensors, so the device can detect the direction and speed of a train by the order and time in which the sensors are passed. As the train passes a similar axle counter sensor at the end of the section, the system compares count at the end of the section with that recorded at the beginning. If the two counts are the same, the section is presumed to be clear. This process is carried out by safety-critical centrally located computers, called evaluators, with the axle counter sensors located at the required sites in the field. The axle counter sensors are either connected to the evaluator via dedicated copper cable or via a telecommunications transmission system. That allows the axle counter sensors to be located a significant distance from the evaluator and is useful when using centralized interlocking equipment, but less so when signaling equipment is situated beside the line in equipment cabinets. The most common use for axle counters is in railway signaling for track vacancy detection. It is a form of block signaling, which does not permit two trains to be within the same section of track block at the same time. Block signaling decreases the chance of collision because dividing the track into blocks ensures there is always enough space between trains to allow one to stop before it hits one in front. Axle counters are used in rail yards to detect train cars as they are sorted. Axle counters are placed on the track before each switch and on each track that exits the switch. Rail yard management software uses occupancy data from the axle counters to lock switches and prevent cars from being routed to tracks that are occupied by other cars.